So, as you can see, we've been super busy. So busy, in fact, I look like a mountain man now. Not for long. <laughs> Here, I'll give you the real tools. Thank you. I couldn't <laughs> find my other comb. This one is the only one I could find, and Swiffer got a hold of it and chewed some of the things off. Won't matter. We'll just use this side. We've been so busy, we're just going to pull double duty here. That's how busy we've been. Oh, i got to get some water. Tiffany's hacked my hair since we've been married, and to tell the truth, I haven't cut my hair since I was 14 because I got a bad haircut once, and I'm like, I can do it better. And this is not going to feel good. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> That's tormenting, let me tell you. And who better to cut my hair than Tiffany? Because if she screws it up, she's the one who's got to look at me. Okay. I'm, I'll put my oh hair my back. God, Are you going to put it on mist? It is on mist. Okay. I promise. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Oh, that feels good. You know why? Because it's 90 degrees today. It's okay. been unseasonably warm around here. You need to get the other side. No, I get it. Your hair will... No, no we got to get over It's fine. Who's yeah. cutting whose hair? All right. So we figured we'd do a little bit of a impromptu video in the raw. Like a life update almost. Farmer's tan and all. Well, we pulled double duty. Yeah, you're right. I need to get this wet. I told you. I told you. Who's cutting whose hair here? I better watch it. She's got the hose. Your phone. Your phone's getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying that way too much. Oh, down the back. Kind of like when you sprayed me yesterday with the pressure washer hose. I didn't. That wasn't the pressure washer hose. If I sprayed Ooh, you with happened? the pressure washer hose, that would be de dangerous. Yeah. I'll put this on mute. Usually I sit here and surf the internet while she does this, but now we'll do a video. So we're gonna talk about life update. The world has been going crazy since our last video. The last video we did was when it was snowing. And it was COVID. I mean, it still is COVID, but... Yeah, and we had, I think, two weeks of spring, and then it turned hot, unseasonably hot. Usually that's the best part about living here is the summers because they're like mid-70s, low 80s. But we've been getting, I think... High 80s. High 80s, 90s even, low 90s, which is warm for here. We haven't had a year like this since I think we moved here. The year we moved here. And that's a story, let me tell you. It involves puking in bushes, car wrecks, people dying, all sorts of interesting things. So the last video I think we put out was like mid-May, mid, mid, mid maybe? Yep. And I don't even remember what we talked about. It's been so long. But since the end of May, we had a fire. An arson, in fact. Somebody uh, burned down the house at the yard. We took a little clip of that, so we'll post that, and maybe. Insert here, how's that? We're heading out to the farm. It's not even eight in the morning yet. Um, I just woke up with really unusual news that house at the farm burned to the ground last night and nobody called in nobody knew about it nobody said anything the sheriff just stopped by this morning and said to chat what he said what do you want to be do you want to be video video? Video? <laughs> he's still has a bad head no, he just said, uh, I was doing packages, he says, uh, you like the house on fire out there? I'm like, no. He's like, well, it's gone. I'm like, what? I mean, it burned to the ground and no walls. He said, there's, it must have had a tin roof on it. He says, because that's all just in the hole. I'm like, he said that the tank was tipped over. The propane tank, I don't know what that means, if it exploded, or why would it tip over otherwise? But I'm more... I mean, here we've got it all cleaned out, 
had the new flooring ready to go in it. That's irritating. Then we've got a couple of trucks and the front end loaders parked near it. Yeah, that's... I mean, there's no house out there to deter people from going in there. I'm just like I said, I'm concerned because like you said, there's vehicles next to the house. There's a payloader, there's that 61 Apache, and your tow truck, yeah, and... Yeah, still there. There's that other, there's that, 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 that whatever's there, and keep from a house fire is hot, so... Yeah. I don't know, it's just very unusual. It's just extremely unusual. Why would the house just... Auto we were just there last night. And there was no signs of anything funny or, you know, the propane tank wasn't dipped over. I mean, nothing was weird. So uh, we're just going to go out and look, I guess, um, and see what's going on. And we'll video when we get out there. Okay, we're coming up on it now. <laughs> it's just so weird. It is not there. Um... I don't see the... Yeah, there's something funny. And I asked him about the shop and he said, well, the ball's burned. Door's burned off. Your tow truck's gone. No, it's still there. Okay, yeah, it's, yeah, there it is then. I wonder if that patch is gone. It's weird, there's like no smoke now. And we were there like late last night. Like almost too dark. Working. We just brought this standard truck last night, late last night. Yeah, why would it be tipped over that direction? Where's the Apache? It's there, but it's burnt to shit. Yeah, so here's the house, gone. That's not supposed to, somebody was in here and tipped that over, weren't they? That's not, that is, no. Yep, there's the Apache, completely gone. Payloader is okay, amazingly. Weird. Well, there goes a bunch of money down the freaking drain. Yeah, it's not even hardly smoldering anymore. Yeah, call call get, call him and tell him to get somebody off the, the water off here because that makes no sense why this would be tipped over. Okay, I'm calling the cops. <laughs> so there are just some fishy things out here. This uh, tank being pushed over. And then right here, there's some tire tracks that have peeled out when it left. So it's like they were in a hurry. And it looks like perhaps they pulled in this direction from that way, because there's kind of a V right there in the tracks. And then they went out that direction you can kind of see and a lot of times sometimes you can see stuff better in, in video and sometimes it's you can barely see anything through video so I guess I'll have to watch this and see but the tracks you can see they go along here and head out and then you kind of lose them but out here again one of the police officers noted that when they spun out here and then you go out here and you just keep following that direction that it left grass on one of these pilings they're actually these pillars were poured for a mobile home that sat out here at one point a double wide mobile home Yeah, 
now that Apache is going to be a total loss. Melted the front of the this F-350. Melted the front of the tow truck, plow truck. But at least it didn't catch fire. Really close. Really close. But that Apache is upsetting. Totally upsetting. But we were out here at probably nine o'clock or so. So it definitely looks like an arson situation. I shouldn't be walking around out here. The electrical hasn't been shut off yet. An old cistern. The shop's still smoldering. At least it's not a total waste. Freaking hot in here, <laughs> that's for sure. <coughs> wow, it was close. It burned this was this was sitting on a pallet and it burned the pallet down. That's amazing. We need to get some water in here. We need to get some water out here. We need to get some water out here. Oh, that's kind of funny. It's the headlight. Yeah, that sucks to have this happen. Total burn down. Hard to put one back together after all this. It's gotta be pretty valuable. Look the way that glass just melted there in a big old pile off of that dash onto the glove box. Hardly even get parts out of them after that happens. Sucks. At least it avoided the loader. Just want to 
do a short little clip. This is the next day after the fire. I guess a, a night has gone by. We've slept last night. We're, we're back and we're going to try to scab this side up. Um, it stinks in here. <laughs> and this building totally could have went too. So I'm sure my suspicious my suspicions and the person must be super proud of themselves. This is where the door was. That's totally gone. I'm going to show you guys from the other side. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's just horrid. So that's just fantastic. And if you want to... Uh... I guess donate to that cause, feel free, because that's not the end of it. Three then, weeks later. Three weeks later, a tornado 